Today's tip of the week that we're going to be talking about is Freon or refrigerant. We're just going to use those interchangeably, okay? So what is Freon? Mechanics for non-mechanics. Freon goes through your refrigeration system. There's actually two different types of Freon that are used. The old stuff, which is an HCFC, which is R22. So a lot of you, if you have systems that were before, say maybe 2001, two, three, four, five, you will have um, R22, which is refrigerant 22. Um, it's an HCFC, which they say is bad for our environment because it has chlorine in it. Now the newer Freon is called R410A. And if you have a house that uh, has an AC system in the 2000s or newer, you probably have an R410A system. Okay, this is an HFC, so it doesn't have chlorine in it. R410A actually has pressures that are 1.6 times greater than the old refrigerant R22, which is where we have a lot of evaporator coils breaking down because they make it with um, a thin metal and then the pressures are much greater, but that's another story. Without getting into too much details, the Freon that is in your system uh, is being recycled over and over. So the Freon comes up your evaporator coil and it uh, consumes the heat that is coming from the air and then it goes out to your outside unit and it gets rid of the heat. That's why you feel that heat coming off your fan outside. That's getting rid of the heat that's inside of your house and it does it over and over and over again. And that is how the refrigeration cycle in simple terms actually works. So the two types of Freon, one is gonna be in a green bottle. That's gonna be R22. That again is for the older stuff, for houses made before, uh, or for units made before say 2000. And the newer stuff is most likely in houses that are made after say 2000 to 2005 and that's in a pink bottle and that's called R410A. 